Right, I had three heroes growing up. Roger Rabbit, Jim Carrey, Brett the Hitman Hart. All Canadians. <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> so question to you is, uh, you know, you perceived as a hero, for me especially, like how, how you, um, how do you handle that? How do you handle being perceived as, as a hero to people? Well, that's, that's a tough question, but I think, um, you know, you, you always try to live up to what you would expect yourself. You know, like you have your own heroes growing up, and someday if you're fortunate enough to find yourself in the same, like in that heroic kind of um, role, or a heroic character, whether you're a policeman or a phys ed teacher or whatever it is, um, you have to look at it from the same way you did as a kid. You know, you never want to dis disrespect yourself kind of thing. You, you, that's how I always judge everything. It's like, what I, you know, like, how would I, how would I, um, like when I meet somebody or how would I would have wanted to meet me, someone like me when I was a kid. And, you know, I've met a lot of, um, like rock and roll guys and people that were my heroes before I saw them. Then after I saw them, they weren't my heroes anymore. And, uh, you know, sometimes the worst thing to do is to finally actually meet your hero and you find out that they're not such nice guys after all. But I've always had a different approach is that I try to present myself in a way where when somebody sees me or they um, finally meet me, that I would treat them the way they the way they want me to, the way they imagine it, like before it ever happens. And, uh, you know, like signing autographs for fans or uh, walking to your car after a show. You know, it's easy to tell some kids to, to fuck off and you're too tired and you're going to go to bed. Or, you know, but I always remember being one of those kids. I want to ask you, do you have, um, man, I want to know, did, did you have any, like, nine to five jobs? Regular jobs, yeah, I had lots of regular jobs. I worked at a gas plant, I was a maintenance man out there, I was, I worked at a graveyard where my brother Owen's buried, I worked there when I was a kid, raking leaves and uh, keeping the graves clean and all that. I um, worked at a steel mill, um, I, of course was a referee for about a year before I got into wrestling. And um, I used to have my own little silkscreen company where I used to make t-shirts and stuff like that. But I always, uh, you know, I worked hard, I think I tried to anyway. And uh, I think all those things served me well when I finally became a, a wrestler. I, was, I worked as a bartender when I was about 16, serving highballs at a big fancy hotel. Um, a lot of just simple jobs, but uh, like I say, they all sort of make the they make you who you are. You got a good job.